This video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. Please do not harass or bully any individuals from this video. Simply have a laugh and move on after. Thanks and have fun watching. This video is sponsored by Manco.Store, a great marketplace for selling and buying TF2 items for real cash. Low prices and commissions. Lots of payment methods. The link is in the description. Good day, everybody. It's your favorite police officer, Verovsky, reporting for duty. No, this is not really a hacker police episode since, as you can see, I'm not doing my policeman strip dancer cosplay on camera. And instead, I will use my voice sometimes. And today, we'll have a look at some more funny, goofy-ass Team Fortress 2 cheaters and it's some ways to spot them. And of course, if you find this information useful, don't forget to click that beautiful subscribe button. So the first cheater that Varabi ran into was playing on a landfall server and was using multiple cheats like crit hacks, wall hacks, but most importantly, silent aimbot. This took place when Voro was recording his Bison Godlike video. A full CTF landfall server. That's all I need at this point. That's all I need. The game is gonna go for... For forever. That's what I died to. Trident crits from a Bresby's Heavy, sniping me across the map. Understandable. I know what we gotta do. We gotta duel somebody from the enemy team. This is very important, so we don't get auto-balanced. Because somebody said that whenever there is a duel going on, you don't get auto-balanced. Let's duel the top square. Thank you. Exciting. In the corner. Oh my god, really? That's my second death? Out of all the things, Engineer is just having huge ass balls going in against a soldier and just one-shotting him? Okay. Okay. Rip 7 kill streak. He could have crit me with a melee. Jesus. I'm scared of everything. <laughs> fair. So fair, game. Get me a random crit in that direction. For once. For once, I... Never mind. I didn't even need that. But we're not really defending. Three fucking shots. Three shots, man. Direct ones. You gotta be joking. Where is he? <laughs> Melted. It might be hard to believe, but this bison soldier is the actual cheater. How am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do against this lagging motherfucker? I can't believe I keep dying like this. Trying to finish off the engineer that just teleports around the map because it should have happened a long time ago. With one shot. But no, I gotta waste everything on him and die to a backstab. Look at this guy, what what is his problem? What what is this? <laughs> what is this? I think I know what's happening. There was four crit swings in a row. Five, six. Oh, yes, he went sniper. He went sniper this time. Let's see what he's up for. Probably knows that I'm spectating. Or maybe he doesn't. I'll pause the video because this, everybody, was a really good example of silent aimbot from this sniper. Let's check it in slow motion. Silent aim was fixed a long time ago for spectator cameras, so now it does little snaps, and the way to determine if someone is using it is spectating a suspect and looking for this. As you can see, the shot is being made on this frame, but the thing is, his crosshair is not on the point of the shot registration. It's like this guy fucking curves bullets wanted style. And then a few frames later, we can see his crosshair doing the snap towards the shot registration point. Later, this body shot that he lands has the same sequence going on. Here he shoots his gun, here are the blood particles, which are once again far away from his crosshair somehow, and then a few frames later, another snap happens. And this is how you spot a silent aimbot user people. But he dies anyway because he's trash. But meanwhile, someone on the server was not really happy with Varabe spectating a cheater. I don't care about this duel. I care about figuring out if this guy is cheating or not. 
Okay. Okay. The guy had to go hiding to keep his score. Sad moment. Sad moment is that you don't even understand what's happening. But okay, let's have another duel if you want it so much. I seriously duel this guy just to not get out of balance because of my bison kill streak. But since he wants to fight, let's fight. You and me. Let's go. You want to take the duel this seriously? Let's go. Oh, he knows how to shoot. Why is he so upset about it? I don't get it. Like, I didn't even do anything to this guy. Why is he so upset? Does he cheat too? Here, Varabe went to check the scout's team profile to see if he was maybe that first guy's friend. Well, he wasn't. But after recording his browser, Varabe forgot to change back to TF2 in OBS and he basically recorded a black screen for several minutes. What a moron. Look at the chat messages. Bro had to run for the HP though, blah blah blah. Go on cap, I'll prove my point. I'm saying which point. He ran away from fights for HP, ran away from the duel like last time, so he just can't stop, he won't stop. He's just going absolutely mental in this situation. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we should uh, MG this guy after this game. Here he is. He hits it. I don't know for how long this is gonna go because, well, we're not capping. I could have capped a long time ago, but I didn't because I wanted to fuck with this guy a little bit more. But here, our sniper is just picking the intel and not doing anything. I'm missing too much, but do I care? I'm missing a lot too. Do I say anything? I mean, he is a good player, but he just can't take an L every time he cries about it. He cries about me using Mad Milk. He cries about, like, me getting backs on the map. He cries about everything, every time he dies. Almost every time. Oh no, I'm about to take it back. Oh no. We're getting shot at. And obviously he does not want to kick his shooter. I called him out multiple times. He doesn't want to do anything about it. The problem is, this whole duel, I was recording it with the black screen. I forgot to click on TF2 icon in my OBS, so I didn't even record anything. I just started recording now when I realized it. I was dying to him quite a lot, 11 times. 23 for him. Oh no, he's running for the health packs. No, what is he doing? He's doing exactly something that he blamed me for. How come? He does not want to lose it. He had such a big lead in the beginning as well. It was like 4 0 or 3 0, I can't remember. He can kill me now. Yeah. Why is the dementia acting up again? Forgot how to use the mouse. Now, he's not that cocky anymore. He's not that cocky. Maybe his mouse is being broken. Maybe his computer is acting up. I don't know. My heart rate finally got down and I can manage my anger. Heck! Oh shit! He could have gotten that one. <laughs> now his heart rate is gonna go up again because God damn it, this guy picked the health back again. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> New server, finally. Get me out of there. On the next server, Verabi ran into two more cheaters that were playing with Huntsman in the opposite team. And the very first suspicious thing to notice was them both having so many points compared to other players. Which of course doesn't really prove anything, but still, it should be enough to start paying attention and looking for something else. For example, for B-Hop cheats. Hmm. It seems like we have two cheaters on the server in the opposite team. I guess you can already see who they are, judging by the points. Yeah, that one is. 
Sneaky B-Hop cheats. A B-Hop cheat allows you to do frame-perfect B-Hops, which are very difficult in TF2. And it is not just jumping repeatedly. An actual B-Hop gains you speed if you do it right. And seeing someone do multiple proper B-Hops in a row paired with having so many points is extra suspicious. Hits it, not a headshot. So they both cheat with Huntsman. Got it. I see what we're dealing with right now. Well, the goal is the same all the time. Destroying them both. Trying to dominate them both. <laughs> Dominating two Huntsman cheaters. Something refreshing, am I right? Would you toggle off, please? Would you maybe kick them? I just wish they won't switch to uh, Stoke Snap Rifles or something else. Like, Huntsman is okay. Even though it's still pretty difficult to dodge. They go in and die, still. That's what I don't understand, like, the situational awareness. The lack of it for cheaters. They can see people through walls, but they still go in and die. They go one versus three. I mean, they probably don't give a shit anyway. I don't quite see them anywhere. They're both dead. Killing the resolution guy one more time will be a domination. Not sure about the top score. Five doms. Sure thing, bro. And nobody tries to do anything. Classic TF2 Bob servers. Oh, double tap. Double tap scout. That's their new plan. I see now. I see. One guy's dominated, not the second one. Fuck! Don't put me in the same team. It puts me in the same team. Uh... What was that? Did you see that? He was <laughs> fully covered in blood. I didn't enable some extra gore in this game. How long should I be waiting for? There we go. Just click F1, click F1, alright? Hell yeah. There it is. Can anybody kick Alex as well? Just start the vote. It's not that difficult. Nice. F1. F1, yeah, F1. Thanks, guys. You're welcome, bitch. Get out of here now. Down, down, down. Feels like I'm gonna get kicked next. <laughs> this Bravo <Breville> guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole time, I have been the third cheater on the server. I earned these people's trust by kicking the actual Bladen cheaters, but now it is my turn. Just fucking fish dived into there. Is fish dive even the thing? Because in Russian language, whenever you jump down into the water with your head going down first, you know, it's called Prignus Rybki. Can't quite tell if there is the definition for that in English language. I mean, I don't know it. Of course there is, but I don't know it.
And this is how one of the days of trying to get a Bison Godlike went for Varabe. Three cheaters on two servers in a row. The only okay thing about them is that they didn't try to hide it. They played the game, cheated blatantly, and didn't deny anything. So what is worse than an obvious cheater? Of course, a closet one. The next day, Vor got back into recording and he ran into more script kiddos. This was already in a Bison video, but in case you haven't watched it, let's get into the analysis. So this is the first suspect. Oh. Wait a second, wait a second. What exactly is suspicious about this clip? Not really much. Well, except him letting super beefy shots with a reserve shooter while being juggled by a rocket at the same time, meaning that he has a very good aim or something helps him aiming. This is why Voro decided to keep an eye on him for something else. And surely it happened. I have a feeling he might be a cheater. Yep, yeah, he's a cheater. If we check this clip in slow motion, Varabe walks up the stairs, he does not see the soldier, the soldier does not see him, but somehow the soldier has an insane reaction time and he almost immediately shoots a rocket that lands perfectly, meaning that he seems to be using wall hacks. And later on, someone else calls him out for his pre-fires. Good cheat. Oh, phone saw it too. Yeah, yeah, he cheats, he cheats. But what I noticed later is something more interesting. If of course, the enemy team is gonna be holding for these 10 minutes, which is something that I doubt. Did he catch anything? Well, slow motion time. He aims directly at Vorabe, but where is his rocket going? It's going for a space adventure, apparently. And guess what? This is silent aim, but again, yes. This is how you can sometimes spot it for projectile weapon classes without spectating. Easy. And since this soldier died to Voro multiple times already, a mighty follow-up easy bomb hit his ego very hard. Despite the soldier later rage switching to sniper and hard toggling on Vorabe, he even writes one in the chat after this kill, which is a cheater slang for get one tap, bro. He's still not the main protagonist here since he's blatant. But who is the main one then? It is Candy Skill, a guy that joined the conversation out of nowhere and started defending a cheater. And the reason to this should be pretty clear. I am pretty sure Candy Skill is his friend. I'll check their friend lists after this game. So is he also a cheater? The answer is yes, yet it is pretty difficult to prove since Varabe already deleted all the footage. But you can rewatch the Bison video and check the kill feed throughout the game. Headshot after headshot. We still got one clip to show though. So he also started focusing Varabe in retaliation of his buddy getting owned, and this happened. Candy skill is staying behind this corner on a common sniper position. And in 95% of situations, snipers only aim towards the enemy's spawn to get easy picks. They don't normally check this territory, especially if they don't see anyone, right? But what a surprise! Candy Skill knows that Voru is about to walk around the corner and instantly lands a headshot. Then follows up with a body shot when Voru is behind a wall, and then he lands another headshot, which also felt like it was behind a wall. This one moment, plus Candy Skill landing almost every headshot earlier in this game, plus him defending his cheater body, equals he is also a cheater. But a pussy ass closet one to some absolutely mind blowing scales. I mean, holy shit, let me show it to you. Here, he queues up for a game with another cheater friend of his, which even has a friend. Vag ban. But at the same time, in his own Steam profile, he would upload screenshots of a blatant cheater to make fun of him. Well, I guess it's fine when he queues up with his cheater friends. On his YouTube channel, he would once again make fun of some raging cheaters that he had run into. But it is perfectly fine when his friend hard toggles after getting clapped by a legit. He would also upload a video where he uses a free cheat on his alt account. A video where he talks about why you shouldn't cheat in TF2. He would also use a fucking save TF2 hashtag in his nickname. I know what you want to say here, I know. It gotta be a troll. There is no way. There is. After receiving some accusations in his profile, he would go full denial mode. 20k plus hours into TF2. I lost my account years ago because of bad remembering on password. Forgot the name too. Oh, fuck off. Yet another day getting falsely banned in a community server. How I love it. Fun fact, if I would cheat, this account would be gone. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure Candy Skill cheats. Does not mean I'm a cheater. This is a comment from his second cheater friend. A resiled resi content creator on YouTube does a weapon challenge and gets mad about not doing good with it, proceeds to accuse others of cheating. Rather defend a friend than to seem for a YouTuber that doesn't even know about my existence. Oh shit, now I do. And in the end, Candy Skill would close his comment section. I have two questions. First one is, what the fuck? And the second one, why does it have to be a fucking fanboy that is into hentai that has Japan selected as his country on Steam? Jesus. Just saying, Candy Skill issue, you could have accepted the fact that you cheated, but instead you have shown one more time how embarrassing, hypocritical, and cowardly closet cheaters like you are.
And now, the last cheater for this video. This actually happened back in August, and this is a super spicy one. We don't have any footage recorded, but long story short, Varabe joined a random high tower game and ran into a cheater. This cheater also hard toggled as a sniper on him, but from the very beginning of a match. Since some more people recognized Voro, someone decided to pocket him as a vaccinator medic, and Varabe killed that cheater a few times and later called him out, so the enemy team would finally kick him. And as a result, a cheater was successfully kicked from the server. But the story does not end here, no, no. This cheater would later upload a screen screenshot of Varabe falsely accusing him of cheats, showing the chat messages. Then he would join Varabe's Discord server from two different accounts where he would cry about getting kicked in both server chats and also in people's DMs. So we decided to dig a little deeper out of curiosity. Maybe there is more on this guy. And you would not believe it. The first evidence piece that caught my eye is this screenshot of his where he brags about getting 40 hats as a demonite. Can you notice it? Because there is something wrong with this screenshot. I'll give you a bit more time. All right, so it is his field of view. Yep, it's his field of view. TF2's maximum field of view is 90. You cannot possibly make it wider than that until you play some community servers with unlocked FOVs, and quite frankly, I cannot recall any high tower servers that use this function. Or you can get your FOV wider with, that's right, cheats. Insane, right? This is how this part of the map looks with the legitimate 90 FOV. And this is how it looks for this cheater. Imagine exposing yourself like this. Here's another screenshot of his on Turbine where he breaks about picking someone's golden frying pan. Same shit. Normal FOV for the same part of the map? His FOV. But this is not even it. After some more research, we noticed that he had a link to his Twitch channel as one of his team nicknames. So we checked on his Twitch for some more possible evidence. Thankfully, we got two clips. On one of them, he's playing with a direct hit. Do I even need to say anything at this point? Do I? Yes, it is silent aim, but yes, this guy closely cheats in TF2 and on his streams. Yes, he thinks he's this smart and that he fools everybody. But he definitely forgot about one thing. You can never outsmart a TF2 hacker police officer, Varovsky, bitch. Alright, this will be it for today's video guys, hope you all enjoyed it and maybe learned something new and if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment and of course subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. It was me, Officer Vorobsky, see you in the next one and always remember, cheating is for pussies. Peace.